Hello, my friends. Welcome to today's flow. Today will be a flowy, dancey practice, but we'll also be drawing elements of Pilates and a bit of strength. So you can expect a spicy, dancey, flowy flow. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy. If you haven't already checked out my membership, I have an online membership called Tana Studio, where you can find full-length practices, Pilates workouts, longer flows, 45 to 60 minute practices, along with breath work and meditation. So if you're interested in that, you're welcome to check the link down in the description box down below and then yeah when you're ready to start you're welcome to come onto your mat let's make our way onto our hands and our knees here for a moment just taking a moment to settle and ground you can stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees and then spread widely into your fingers and start to slowly find barrels here as we explore a few barrels circling out the spine and just taking a moment to connect to your body, sensing how you're feeling today. Close your eyes, there's no wrong or right way to do this. Begin to tune inwards, arching and rounding the spine, bending into your elbows, getting your whole body involved. And then if you were moving in one direction, you're welcome to change directions of the circles. Keeping your body nice and soft and open as you explore those areas of tightness, of tension. Allowing yourself to fully come into your body and into your senses. Taking one more breath here. And then with that out breath, start to sink your hips back towards your heels, reach your arms out in front of you. Keep your toes tucked, spread widely into your fingers and take a nice full round of breath into the back of your body. Sigh it out, release, let it go. And with that out breath, lift your gaze, roll the body forwards, coming into a upward facing dog variation, dropping your hips down, reach through your chest as you peel the shoulders back, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, keeping your knees on the floor, glide your hips back towards your heels, same shape, active childs. We roll forwards, tuck your chin into your chest first, and then once again, melt down and forwards as you reach through your heart center, breathe in. Exhale, hips to heels, glide it all the way back. Beautiful, a couple rounds like this. Just finding some space, creating that space from the inside out, physically, energetically, lift your chest. Exhale, take your hips back, childs. One more time, let's roll forwards like a wave is moving through your spine. Linger here, hold for a breath, reach through your heart. And then ripple your chest all the way down to the ground. Hands beneath your shoulders, a couple of rounds of cobra. Let's lift the chest, breathe in. Exhale, bring it back down. And again, inhale to lift, peeling the shoulders onto the back body. Exhale, soften. Beautiful, one more round, let's lift up. And exhale, softening all the way to the ground. Beautiful, now drop your right forearm out in front of you, bend into your left leg, left hand to left foot, coming into a bit of a quad stretch here, stretching your hip flexor as you guide your foot towards your bum. Take a breath in. And then you can gently let go of your foot, roll yourself onto your bum as you lift left knee is bent right leg is straight we're twisting to the left right hand wraps around the left knee peel the left shoulder back take a nice full breath and then with that out breath unravel and drop your body down to the floor once again you're dropping your left forearm out in front of you other side right knee bends and right hand to right foot coming into our quad stretch on the other side Keeping the breath nice and steady as you breathe in and out of your nose. And then with your exhale, let's release that. Rolling over to the right side, right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Left hand wraps around the right knee as we peel the right shoulder back, coming into a nice juicy twist. Breathe in. All right, as you breathe out, release all of that. Come back down onto your tummy. One round of Cobra. Breathe in to lift your chest. And exhale, soften it back down to the floor. Now guide your hands right beneath your shoulders, tuck your toes. Use your arm strength to push yourself up into a plank. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, you're gonna guide your right knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, reach back into your leg. 
and then over to the left side. A couple rounds like that. Inhale, reach back. Over to your right elbow. Inhale, reach back into your toes. Over to your left elbow. One more time on this side. Inhale, reach back. To the right elbow. Inhale, reach back. Right knee to left elbow. Step your right foot behind you. Plank. Take a breath in. Beautiful, guys. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. Make your way into an upward facing dog. Reach through your heart. And then downward facing dog. Slowly roll it back. With that out breath, lift your heels, roll the body forwards, plank once again. Left knee to left elbow now, taking it to the other side. Reach back into your toes and then over to the right. Inhale, reach back. Beautiful, stay with it, over to the left. Inhale, reach back, over to your right side. One more time here. Inhale, reach back into your left foot. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach back, over to your right elbow. Beautiful. Step your left foot behind you. Plank, chaturanga, nice and slow. Cobra or upward facing dog, your choice. Lift your chest, breathe in. And then breathe out, downward facing dog. Let's take a little pedal here, bend into one leg at a time, just working into your hamstrings and calf muscles, keeping your neck and your head nice and relaxed. And then on your next round of breath, dropping your right foot over to the left side, so you're finding kind of like a crisscross dog shape. Drive your heels as close to the floor as you can to get that nice stretch through your hamstrings. Take a breath. And then we'll take it to the other side. So drop your right foot back down to the floor, left foot over to the right side. Driving heels as close to the mat as you can. Keep pushing away from the floor through both of your hands. Beautiful, coming back into your dog, both feet to floor, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, send your right leg into the sky. Come into your three-legged. Guide your right knee to your right elbow, lean forwards. Three-legged dog, reach back into your toes. Over to your left elbow and then lift your left hand off the floor. Push away from the ground, halt. Okay, beautiful. From here, drop your left hand down to the floor, flipping your dog right foot over to the side of your space. Wild thing, we are reaching up through the right arm. Lift your chest, lift your hips. And then exhale, drop your hips down and find a little twist here. Left hand wraps around the right knee. Breathe in, lengthen. <sighs> exhale, coming back into your wild thing. Lift up through your hips and your heart space. Inhale. Exhale, right hand drops to the mat. Step your right foot in between your hands. Come into your low lunge. Beautiful, guys. Take a breath in. Long pyramid pose. Breathe out as you bow over your front leg. Bend into your knee, come back into a lunge, and then reach the arms up, high lunge. I want you to bend into your back knee as much as you can. We're gonna find these little pulses here, lifting and lowering that knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe in, hold. Shift forwards, come into flying warrior as you take flight, point into the back toes, and keep the energy in the chest. Breathe in. Breathing out, high lunge, drop your left foot lightly back to the floor, reaching the arms up. Feel the energy travel up your spine and your arms. And then shift forward once again, flying warrior. Inhale, exhale. Hug your left knee into your chest, one-legged mountain pose. We're gonna reach the arms up. Option, you can keep this left knee bent if you're ready for it. Kick into the foot with a straight leg, hold. Find a soft focus, keep breathing. Finding some playfulness here. Okay, we're going to send our left leg behind us, flying warrior in a low variation. So guide your hands together at your heart space, bend into your bottom right knee a lot as you hover your chest over your right thigh. Nice and low. Keep reaching back into your left toes. Hold here for a moment. Beautiful work. Left foot lightly meets the floor. We meet in a reverse warrior. Take your time. Reach into your right arm, creating that space across your sides. 
and then make your way down into a nice cozy and low side angle. Right hand to floor or to ankle bone, reaching into your left arm. Reverse your warrior again. Breathe in as you lift and lengthen. One more time, bring it back down. Reach into your left arm to create that space. Reverse your warrior. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna to begin to bend into your left knee, coming right into a horse pose. Guide your hands together at your heart space. Finding these pulses here, stay with me as you draw your heels in and your toes out, pulsing for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, straighten your legs, five pointed, breathe in. Facing the front, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, reaching into your right fingers. And then exhale, low lunge, cartwheel the hands down to the floor in front of you. Coming right into an easy twist, reach your right arm into the sky as you plug your left hand into the floor. We'll make our way right into side plank with the right foot forwards of your left foot. Right foot forwards of your left foot, lift up through your hips. And then give it a little wave as you wave down, dropping your right hand down. And then inhale, push up as you lift once again. Three more rounds, you got this. Lower down, exhale, lift. And again, lower. Exhale, lift. Beautiful, last round, lower it down. Using your arm strength here, lift up through your right arm, lift up through your hips, breathe in. Drop your right hand down to the floor as you sink your right knee down to the mat. Supported side plank, your left arm is reaching up and over. Take a breath in. And then lift your left leg off the floor, point into those toes. We inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in, nice and controlled. So you got this, inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. And again, inhale, reach. Exhale, hug it in. Reach it out and then hold here. We're gonna find these pulses hovering the arm and the leg for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, drop your left hand foot down to the floor behind you. As you lift, rise, gate pose, right arm reaches to the back, breathing into your right lung. Looking over to the back of your space, bend into your left knee as you plant your hands to the ground. Kick your left leg into the sky, three-legged dog, reach back into your toes. And then step in between your hands, warrior two. Facing the back here, reaching into your arms, ground your energy. Reverse your warrior, take a breath in. As you exhale, rainbow warrior, right knee bends, left leg is straight, sweep the arms back. And then glide forwards once again, reverse your warrior, reaching all the way up into your left arm. One more time, just like that, like a little wave, take it back. Reverse your warrior for a last time. Reach into your left fingers. And then as you exhale, low lunge all the way over to the front of your space. Meet your right foot at the front of your mat. Inhale. Exhale. Plugging your hands into the floor, you'll begin to glide your right foot over to the left side of your space, coming into that kind of crisscross dog shape. Inhale. And then as you breathe out, you'll glide forwards onto your right arm, lifting your left hand into the sky. Reaching into your chest, take a breath in. And then like that same little wave, we bring it down. And again, let's lift and reach. Exhale, like a wave, bring it down. Two more times, you got this, guys. Let's stay with it, inhale to lift. And exhale, lower. Last round, lift it all the way up. And exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift up into your left arm, take a breath in. Drop your left hand down to the floor as you guide your right knee into your chest. Stay with it, guys. Send your right leg into the sky, three-legged dog, reach back. And then lift your gaze as you rock forward, three-legged plank. Take any vinyasa that is working for you here. So whatever helps you find your flow, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, we take the hips back. Take two full breaths here as you push into your hands and your feet. Feeling that energy, that little fire start to burn within you.
And then on your next in breath, we continue to play. Send your left leg tall, find your three-legged dog, guiding your left knee towards your left elbow. Three-legged, reach all the way back. Over towards your right elbow, right arm lifts as you push away from the ground. Hold here, working your obliques and your left arm, hold. Drop your right hand down to the floor, flipping your dog. Take it slow as you move through these transitions. Lift up through your hips and your heart space as you open up your chest to the skies above. Inhale. As you exhale, lowering your bum down to the floor. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight. We're twisting to the left. Wrap your right hand around your left knee as you peel the left shoulder back, grow tall. Begin to unravel as you make your way back into your wild thing, lifting up through your hips, reach through your chest, inhale. As you exhale, left hand meets the floor, stepping your left foot out in front of you, low lunge. Take a breath in. As you exhale, long pyramid pose, bow over your left leg as you melt over your shin bone. Bend into your knee as you reach your arms up, high lunge. Lengthen through your spine and your arms as your right knee stays bent here. Nice and cozy and low to the floor. Let's find those pulses, guys. Staying with it for five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Shift forwards onto your left leg, come into Flying Warrior as you lift the back leg off the floor, lift through your chest, taking flight, focused, aware. Right foot slowly lands back down to the floor, high lunge. Take a breath in. And then one more time, shift forwards onto your left leg, Flying Warrior. Keep your collarbones broad as you open up the chest to the space in front of you. Begin to guide your right knee in towards your heart space now, making your way into your one-legged mountain with your arms reaching up. Inhale. Option to play with straightening through that leg if you took it on the other side, otherwise you can keep your knee bent. Hold. Okay, nice and slowly, we're gonna meet in that low flying warrior position. So you're gonna sweep your right leg behind you, guide your hands together at your heart space, lift up through the back leg, keep the energy in the back leg, hold. Reverse your warrior, right foot lightly lands to the floor, reach into your left arm, create that space, enjoy the transition as you lengthen through your side. And then make your way down into a nice and low and cozy side angle. Right arm reaches up and over your ear. Breathe in. Breathing out, reverse your warrior once again. Reach into your left arm. One more time, bring it back down. Keep pushing into the knife edge of your back foot here. Inhale. Reverse for last time. Exhale, reach into the left arm. And then make your way into your horse. Squatted shape, heels in, toes out. Hands together at heart space. We find these pulses nice and low, nice and low through your hips. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, straighten your legs, five-pointed, engaging your thighs, lengthen up and out of your waist. And then face the front, warrior two. Look over your left fingers as we inhale. Reverse, exhale. Reach into your left arm. And then cartwheel the hands down to the floor, low lunge, facing the front here, right into your easy twist. So lift your left arm up, leaning into your left shoulder. And then find that side plank variation with the left foot forwards of your right foot. Let's lift up through the hips, inhale. Like a wave, we bring it down. Inhale, let's lift up again. And exhale, lower, two more rounds. Let's do it, inhale, let's lift. Just push away from the ground, lower it back down. Last time, let's lift, and we lower. Beautiful, lift up through your left arm, take a breath in. 
dropping your left hand down to the floor, left knee drops down to the mat, come into your supported side plank, right arm reaches up and over, inhale. All right, let's lift the back leg off the floor, point into the toes, reaching right arm up and over, right knee to right elbow, nice and slow, contract. Inhale, reach it out, finding control, exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reach it out, exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reach it out, and hug it in. Inhale, reach it out, pulsing for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, drop your right foot to the floor behind you, gate pose, left arm reaches to the back of your mat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, we're facing the back of our space here. So bend into your right knee. As you plug your hands into the floor, kick your right leg into the sky, three-legged dog. Reach into those toes. Warrior two, we step forward, still facing the back. Looking over your right fingers, ground as we breathe. Reverse your warrior, take a breath in. As you exhale, left knee bends, right leg straightens, rainbow warrior. Like a little wave, feeling into that sense of flowy, dance equality, reverse your warrior again. And then one more time, take it back into your rainbow. Inhale, reverse your warrior as you reach into your right arm, breathe into your side. We'll meet all the way over at the front of our space. Low lunge, meet your left foot. As you plug your hands into the floor here, glide your left foot over to the right side of your space in that crisscross dog shape. Push it away from the floor through your hand for a moment. Breathe in. Staying with it. Lean the body forwards as your right arm lifts, coming into that side plank variation. Lift your chest up into the sky. And then like a wave, we bring it down. And again, let's lift, push away from the floor. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale to lift, you got this. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift all the way up, hold and breathe. Lightly let the right hand meet the floor as you hug your left knee into your chest, inhale. Three-legged dog, exhale, reach back into your toes. And then look forwards, three-legged plank, take any vinyasa of your choice. So play with what you had on the first side. Chaturanga to upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Slowly roll it back and then close your eyes here at ground. Feel the knuckles of the hands press into the mat, the feet, the edges of the feet, the heels. Allow your breath to steady. And then nice and slowly, lift your heels off the floor, sinking your knees down to the ground. Drop your bum to your heels, Virasana, rest your hands on your thigh bones. Lengthen through your spine, close your eyes. Allow your breath to find kind of a steady, natural rhythm as you breathe through your nose. And gently open up your eyes and glide your bum over to the right side of your space, making your way into a cross-legged seat or any seat that feels comfortable. Sitting up tall, you can rest your hands on your thighs or your knees. If you've come this far, I invite you to stay for just the next few moments. Close your eyes, roll the shoulders back and start to bring your awareness to your breath and the beat of your heart. Perhaps your breath still feels slightly labored here. Watch it slow down gradually. And notice how when that happens, your energy begins to settle as well. After strong movement, I find it so much easier to find stillness internally, physically. So allow your body to relax 
and allow yourself to just feel held by the earth beneath you. Allow yourself to feel embraced, taken in by the warm cocoon that is Mother Nature, Earth, almost coming back to your roots, where we all came from, a sense of belonging that you can create within yourself by becoming embodied and becoming aware of the beauty that is around you and reflected within you. Keeping your mouth closed, start to deepen your breathing. Just breathing nice and slow and deep into your lower belly, feeling the ribcage expand on the in-breath and gently contract on the out-breath. Try to be completely present with your breath here for a few moments. And now I invite you to place your hands on your heart space and focus on what kind of energy you'd like to bring into the rest of your day or your evening, a feeling, an energy. Focus on that and let that feeling really live in your body on a full body level, like it's coming alive inside of you. And then really breathe into that. Let's take a nice big breath in together. And then release. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that practice. Pardon the slight inter interruption from the doggos. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I hope you feel good. And thank you for joining me. And I hope that you enjoyed and please remember to subscribe if you did enjoy and remember to check out my membership if you are interested in deepening your practice with me. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Lots of love.